<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Back here. Back after my long three-week, pretty much class, my four-credit college course I had to take at the Chingatig Field Station for... What the freaking heck? Norton Online Backup has completed with errors. Of course it did. But anyways, yep, I'm back from the three-week trip for uh, my marine biology course. And by the way, it was the hardest course I've ever taken. <laughs> but, alright, I'm back. And that first week I was gone, I made some stuff uh, prior to when I left for a good week or so. And then you might have seen yesterday that I uploaded two more playoff appearances for Madden. Because they didn't upload during my trip but those were dines but now I'm actually back from my trip and I got some hopeful plans um stuff I've missed out on I, I bought MLB it should be coming soon MLB 14 okay what else came after that I'm gonna try to think of releases when they came out make it a little easier uh Wolfenstein I can't really do too much with uh let's see uh, what came after that? I guess Watch Dogs, I guess. I, I did get Watch Dogs because I missed out on it. So I might do some multiplayer and stuff of it if it does have multiplayer. I got Mario Kart 8, which I might do some stuff. I'm kind of fully aware that Nintendo will probably, of course, flag my videos. But i kind of been wanting to do like a Nintendo game on my channel. So I'll be doing that. And what else came out? I know there was a few others like Murdered Soul Suspect and stuff like that. But another main thing I'll be doing is UFC later on. I want to get that so I can start UFC up. Because my last UFC was pretty fun, I did. And also a couple other things. Uh, my, my, pretty much I'm done with Madden at this point. I don't really have much else to do with it since my my player season was done and I pretty much not playing the franchise anymore. So I'm pretty much done with Madden 25. I'll wait till Madden 15, I believe. So I'll continue on with that. And also I have an update on the Fallout thing. Uh, I, actually, I can continue on it. But I have to kind of figure out how to do a PC setup of Fallout. And I have to get back, of course, to where I was. So I might be able to continue on with the T-Rock Goes Hardcore series with Fallout 3. But we'll see. But I think I'll try to do that. It's going to kind of suck. <laughs> I've had Fallout 3 on the PS3 originally. Then I got on the Xbox 360 for DLC. I got back on the PS3, and now I possibly have it for the PC. All over the place. But anyways, let's get our stuff going on. That was just a little update. So I don't want to see this Norton Online backup errors either. So, Alright, I'm going to probably put in the description kind of an update. 3 minutes, 30 seconds of update. So. Alright, let's get moving on. Was I think the last episode I was asking for a trade, I believe. Knitting stuff too. Oh. This is a little soon right now. <laughs> so I'll try to get into it. So, so I'm only going to be uploading one video right now. So I'm going to record it in 1080p. But if I record something like 10 videos, then I'm just going to put it in 720p because, well... You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not 1080p. It's 1080i. I just noticed that. But yeah, my plans are if I only I do like one or two videos at a time, I'm gonna upload them in 1080p. If it's like a whole series I'm doing at one time, I'm gonna do it only 720 because it's quicker uploading and it reduces the file size, so it doesn't take up all my memory. Right here from Atlanta, Georgia. All right, the jazz. Get jazzy on it. All right, here we go. Shoot from the outside, penetrate, makes good decisions. All right, 
See if I remember how to play. I haven't played for three weeks. Oh, shut your mouth. To play in the first quarter. Schroeder kicks to Scott. Down low. Here's money. God dang it. Take the lead. Missing. What I get for not playing for three weeks. But I had to pretty much be gone from our marine biology stuff. I thought they were coming all the way. Life is I guess but wow, it is better. Just not Playing video point. games yeah, full time. <laughs> Come on, miss the shot. How dare you? How freaking dare you? I was not trying to steal the ball from you, Schroeder. Give me the ball. I need to re uh, help myself here. Shot from six. There we go. So much better. Here's Burke. He's coming off a 16 point game against Orlando. Kicks to Williams. Shoots. They get uh, again. No. Here's Piedrinch. Oh, man. How dare you? You deserve to fall on your butt. Standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. And back to Burke at 6 1. Not elite size or great athleticism, Clark, for the point guard position. Some there we go. For that lack of the Utah and a desire All right. to get better and a really you're not going anywhere this time be a dreams so, i think when you look no. at Burke, no. to continue to get better. there you williams for 3 yes williams missing again for the utah jazz they come in off a loss to the magic in orlando yeah, and you look at the stat sheet from that night i mean the turnovers were just yes crazy. no way you're going to give up the ball as many times as they did and still win well, not unless you play an even tougher brand of defense and force even more turnovers on the other side. That's the only way you're really going to be able to counteract giving the ball. No, 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 no. Oh. You don't get to swish, boy. We get to swish. They respond to a three-pointer with a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. The kick out to Scott. Bad pass. Oh. How dare you double whammy me. Freaking baggage. How dare you. How dare you. You don't do that to me. Oh, no. Screw you. I was in your face. I was in your freaking face, man. How dare you make that shot. <laughs> oh, yes. Lads, lads. All right, be your trends. You're not going anywhere, boy. Where do you think you're going? Give me that ball. Give me that ball. I just give me that ball. My, uh, 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 able to retain possession here. Come on, be your trends. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Kings was superb. Give it to be Give me that ball. Shooting efficiently okay, from Jeff the field and the Let's go. He seemed to be everywhere on the floor the entire time and really was the star of the show, Kevin. Appreciate it, Doris. Thanks. Well, there we've we seen a lot, nice of shot. We a lot of great games. C plus. That Clark was something special. Kevin, it really was. I mean, they threw everything but oh, the yes. kitchen sink at him, and nothing <laughs> slowed him down. But let's just say he was really good. Taking a Get that chance. ball out of my face. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys, my brother. Hello? No, that's all right. Yeah, I was just looking at some of the other trailers from E3. Um, GTA 5 is definitely confirmed for the Xbox One, PS4. Um, the uh, Dead Island 2 trailer was really weird. <laughs> um, let's see what else did I see. That Bloodborne game didn't look bad. It's like a medieval, looks like vampire zombie game. Um, the orders, uh, what I was saying about that one was, the guy was, like, walking in this dark house with a lantern. He looks to his right, and he sees this, like, zombie, and it transforms into, like, some kind of werewolf or something. And it tracks you down. <laughs> you have to run away from it, and then you're trapped in the thing. Tracks you down. 
And, um, let me think, what else? I know, oh yeah, Uncharted 4, I'm excited for that too. Okay, I was going to say, if you buy PS4, there's good stuff coming out. It's a benefit to, ha benefit to have both systems. You get to play everything. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Luckily, that was only a minute call. <laughs> With Jeremy Evans. And it's Beatrinch in at the center. Jefferson's checked in for Gordon Hayward. The Hawks leading by 20. You know, you look at the flex offense that Utah utilizes, and it requires that players, one, be versatile and multi-skilled, but also that they have good basketball IQ. You need to be able to yeah. and read defenses effectively. And uh, that's not easy, but it's certainly a good way to play if you've got the right people. Burt dishes to Jefferson. Now here's Beatrinch. Oh, oh, they, they freaking caught me. First foul of the game. The Jazz making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Screw Beatrinch. No. Oh no, I'm on him. No, you jerks. Oh, he messed anyways. Yes. points. And Clark, back to that flex offense you were talking about. Some players come into the league with the bad habit of standing around when they don't have the ball. Steve, that's not going to cut it in the flex. No, it keeps you moving. It keeps the ball going. Uh, a lot of screening. And yes. It's a great offense, and it's difficult to cut. Am I giving this but ball like to? You said, it, it teaches the young players how to play as well. Off the screen. Yes. And a kind roll that time off the rim. Is that one ball? Money's got four points this quarter. I think he's best as a spot-up shooter. When he can play off of his teammates and find openings on the perimeter, just catch and shoot. Got a quick release, beautiful stroke. He does such a nice job of getting yeah, squared up and in perfect position before the ball gets there, preparing before the pass. Outside, Scott. Bad pass, bull crap, he was wide open. To the inside. Yes. Another one in for Money. Money's got eight points. Really good example there of some fine interior passing before that basket. And the Jazz called. Oh, oh come on. Quit being jazzy on. Had to see Atlanta. Yeah, they got swept in the two games that they played against this club last year. They lost both of them. Ennis Canners checked in for the Jazz. Out to the right wing. 29 seconds left in the first half. Jefferson with it. He's picked up by Jenkins. Six to shoot. Jefferson passing to Williams. And they turn over the 20. Yes. Signaling the shot clock violation. Atlanta with the ball. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Money passes to Schroeder. Here's money outside, Scott. Show! Here's Cunningham. Oh. He got it off in time, but it's no good. Oh. And so a pretty lopsided game. Lewis Williams. Halftime report presented by Sprint. Two sucky teams going at it. Welcome oh yeah. Here from Feel freaking awesome because of it beating a bad team. Now here's Burks. He's guarded by Williams. Oh yeah. Go 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 go, Jeff Tig. Uh, Horford is out yes. there with money, and it's Carroll in at the small forward. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Hawks. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. 
very impressive, and they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Down to five on the shot clock. Up top, Burks. Oh, boy. The shot clock expires. 24-second violation. For a long time, it's been about getting out and running for Atlanta, and that was really one of the strengths of the team last season as well. Really one of the better teams in fast break points in the league. Andres Piedrin, she's checked in. No! 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 For Alec Burks. Utah has dare you get into the three point rush. range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And there's the foul. Just in his face, Jericho. boy. How dare you? Don't. And for the you Hawks, you are so duff. good on the break. Ended up pelvic face plant. Jesus. Not a surprise with the athletes that they have. That's Hi. Kevin, with Josh Smith's departure, I think is a big blow. Let's do this. Not as good in transition anymore, but they do have some exciting oh, young talent. Oh, oh. Young players you can get out and run. So it's going to be interesting over the next couple of seasons to watch this team unfold. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, uh, force this team into some bad shots. Uh, Here's Money, covered by Evans. Money. The shot's good for Money. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight yes. buckets now at the rim. Evans setting the pick for Burke. Here's the screen. That oh, oh, yeah. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Pass the money. Shoots. Oh! He shot the ball exceptionally well yeah, as they yeah, built this lead for themselves here. For Utah, they've gone flat the field Dang since <laughs> the third quarter got underway. <laughs> Burke kicks to be a drench. Get that out of my face. That's great, the Hawks. Here's Schroeder. Ah. Can't connect. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a... And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. I'm going to look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Got yeah, him. Don't be I love the way this play developed. He took what looked like a difficult pass and turned it into an easy basket. And Utah looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Rush out there with Hayward. Then it's Williams. Let's be a drench. And it's at the fourth spot. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. Hayward dishes to Evans. He feeds it to Hayward. Back to Evans. Uh, oh. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Cunningham kicks to Jenkins. Pass to Scott. Scott gets the screen from Jenkins. Money passes to Jenkins. Cunningham inside. Defended by Hayward. Nice. Cunningham gets the bucket. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Williams dishes to rush. Evans outside. Give me that ball. Away. Yeah, yeah. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And out of bounds as you God dang it. That was all horrible freaking pass. Ah, man. After this game as they take on the Bobcats. That will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. Yeah, you know the fans out in Memphis really hoping their team can win that one. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Go Berry's checked in for Beadrich. And Alec Burks subbed in for Jeremy Evans. Williams for three. Yes. It's rebounded by Jenkins. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. Foul call that. All right. Give them two chances at the free throw line here. Make these free throws. Well, Mike Boonholzer, you know, the new coach of the Hawks, spent 19 years with the San Antonio Spurs, including 17 as an assistant. All right. Well, you One can more. Ask for a better right. team ground than that. Oh, yeah. 
And back to Budenholzer, who was with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last. All right, let's do it. Oh, no. oh. For four seasons, he's a guy who loves the game. He's very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from probably the best coach in the NBA during his time in San Antonio. Money passes to Cunningham. Dishes to Scott. To the right side. Here's money. Yes. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Here's Burks. Oh. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. The Hawks have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Yes. Shots good for money. Yeah, they're moving the ball now. Eight of their last ten points coming off assisted buckets. Steve, nothing makes a coach smile as much as pure selfless teamwork. Burks. Give me that ball. He's got Jerk. number seven for him. Oh. The free throw line jumper no good from Alec Burks. Hawks have gone a perfect four of four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Scott kicks to Jenkins. Pass to Money. To the paint. Oh, Six to shoot. man. He's going by Gobert. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. Burks leading the charge. Oh. Williams gets the bucket. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Atlanta's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Cunningham dishes it to Scott. Here's Money. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Money. Money's got 22. And they're making a statement here, guys, going inside for eight of their last 10 points. Time to man up on D and stop these free runs to the rim. Rush's shot is off. And Steve, not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. Yeah, oh. well deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. Oh. The champ by Williams. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. Well, but that's what happens. Ah. When you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Kia. Good stuff on that Kia Slam Cam. A different look for Utah. Bia Drench comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Burke in for Burks. Carroll passes to Money. And that basket is Tending. Yeah. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Jazz have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just uh, total obliteration. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Atlanta. Great, generous ball movement tonight, a thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort, Kevin. Everybody got involved, and that paid dividends. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. Well, you look back at this one, and what an amazing performance this has been for money. He was extremely efficient offensively. Yes. Down big shots all game long. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. There's 48 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Williams kicks to Burke. Jacks up a three. Their offense has kicked into gear, but it seems to have arrived a little bit too late. And as a coach, that can really be frustrating. I mean, you guys were stumbling along for most of the game, and now when it's basically over, they finally decide to come alive. I'm being a freaking point guard right now, son. Here's money, hearted by Gobert. Just five on the clock. Here's money. Oh. He bank it in, but he misses. <laughs> he operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. And looks like the elite. How dare you, Beatrice? Right. How dare attention. you? Well, if you're going to set a screen like that, you've got to make sure your feet are set. I agree with you, and I thought maybe he was set that time, Steve. I thought it was a good screen on his part. Here's Schroeder. The pass to money. Oh. 
<laughs> and so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. And this one All right, good game. Well, Paul, congratulations on this one. Alright. Ugh. good hat gonna happen. GM's office next day. Thanks for coming up. Just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are progressing. I talked to Coach and he agrees. You've been playing well lately. He thinks you're close to being ready for the starting lineup. Yeah, so do I. I've been working hard lately. It's about you know? freaking time. Uh, I'm ready to take that next step. But real talk, I mean, I just want to help this team win games, whether that's starting lineup or coming off the bench. Good. Sounds like you have your head straight on about this. No need to rush things, right? You're young, and being a starter in the NBA, that carries a lot of responsibility. We just don't want to make a move until we're sure it's the right thing to do. Oh, I, I completely understand. I mean, I'm ready to do You know what? Because it totally, like, contradicts me wanting to be well, traded. We'll just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll let you know if anything changes. Thanks, man. Good. Okay. See you later. Have a good practice. Apparently they want me to be the starter even though I asked for a trade. Oh, the heat. This is your captain speaking. We've begun our descent into Miami. We should be pulling into the gates in about 15 right. minutes. Please prepare for landing. 